And for that, we got to jump over here. And now we're in the back of CapCut and we are going to go over and we're going to go script to video. Now CapCut is free for the most part. They do have some paid options. Script to video. So you can either decide what are we doing? Is this movie, TVs, games, commercials, relationships, life stories, cooking tutorials, tech, info, or other? Here's where you're going to want to click the top one. Write your own script. Now we are going to take our script we have and we are going to enter it in. And now you notice our script is 3,891 characters long out of 20,000 that they give you. And apparently we are going to be energetic female. And when you click this, you're going to see all the other voices here. The ones without the pro are obviously free and you will need to upgrade to... Oh, Julio, let's go. Sorry, ADHD. All right. So now with the power of this tutorial and Julio, we're going to generate video. All right. Now here's your two options. You can either decide smart generation, generate video with materials from CapCut. You want to take your whole script and just get the B-roll. All right. So the point is we're going to start. The other, the other option would be to local media, generate video with materials on your device. We just want the whole script, you know, for smart generation to cover the whole text because then we only need to worry about the times that you are engaged with the camera and looking. So then those are the times you don't have to use the phone B-roll. So let's get it. Dun, dun, dun. I can hardly wait. So excited. Anyways, yeah. So don't get too excited. Um, this is just some of this B-roll. Um, it's some of it's unique, some of it sucks. And if you do a big enough script, what will happen is there will be spaces you have to look for in your timeline. Um, because CapCut. Hey, what's going on? Oh my god, Big Lap is going out of business, and I was just ready to go home. And they have 60 percent off of everything dude i got like 10 bags full of shit like dishes like down comforters and everything for 180 bucks does that sound like a deal was it actually 60 percent off yeah like everything was like really cheap yes and they're only going to be in business for a couple more days oh dang like they have workout stuff there batteries light bulbs well, yeah, I know. They had that around over by me, except it was only 30% off and it wasn't a deal. Oh, no. By me, it's really cheap. They got patio furniture sets for like 50 bucks, like hundreds of dollars. Like, worth. I can't they wait. Got, um, uh, fireplaces. Oh, my God. They got so much food. Oh, shit. I only had like 20 minutes to run through there. <laughs> And then he's like, ma'am, you got to go to the front. I was just throwing shit in my cart. Jesus, it's all right. <laughs> They're like, hey, ma'am, we will open tomorrow. It is not that serious. We're only going out of business at 60% off. <laughs> right? Oh, oh, can I call you back in a little bit? I'm like literally making a video. Yeah. Oh, my God. I wish you were here to help me unpack my car. Yeah, um, that's a lot of stuff. I gotta go. All right. Bye. Oh my god, yeah, don't ever call me when I'm recording, because if I forget to turn off my ringer, I'm answering that bitch. There's a sale of big lots. All right, back to the tutorial. Um, Stop wasting time. It's 2024. All right, anyways, don't pick who... ...is yours if you don't want your video to be messed up. Hey, here's what we got to do now. This top layer right here is all your text. So real quick, first of all, before we go over anything else, we are just going to see this matching up. So um, this is probably, I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're just going to do it right here. So when this happens, it'll say, tap to replace with your own materials. Okay, so it's not that CapCut necessarily forgot something, but um, it's just like wanting you to um, use your own stuff. So you could take these segments out right here. Um, 
I thought it would have forgot something, but it didn't. And that's going to kind of continue along that way. This is the bread and butter for photographers. So, yeah, this is he's just going to go to the course accelerator.com. Yeah, they messed that part up. Uh, you will have to do a little bit of audio editing. But for the most part, this is a really solid way to get B-roll. Now, I do have a speaking um I, I do have myself recorded and I'm recording my video, but the point is, is when I am disengaged or I'm looking back at my notes or I should probably just use a fucking teleprompter point is, <laughs> uh, I will, I will be able to then, um, just use, use the part when I'm engaged with the camera and use that This is my speaking part. And as you can see, like this B-roll is pretty solid. Um, this literally just probably saved me an hour. I'm not going to use all of it and not all of it's going to match up either. There's going to be some parts where they're talking and it's going to be a little bit of a disconnect with what they're showing. Other things we could do to kind of enhance this. Um, if you're just doing this for B-roll and then matching it with your video, don't burn the captions in there because what will happen is you need to take into account the speed at which you talk versus their AI. It's not going to be the same. So your video is not going to match up perfectly. So keep that in mind too. Um, what you can do is get them both on the same timeline and just cut clips where you are engaged and pull it above the B, the B roll, which means, uh, this is going to be another great way to do it. Or you can just insert your clips into these media segments in here in this timeline where it tells you, um, insert your media here, insert your media here. Here's another one right here. Let me just move the playhead there. There we go. Um, if I want to turn all this text off, I'd shut this eye off. Okay. Or I could highlight it and delete it. Remind you, everything right here is text. So uh, if you wanted to, CapCut's got this really cool apply all feature that, um, well, in here, I don't think I have the templates, but if you wanted to affect everything, like for example, if you just want to animate something nicer and you want to apply to all, um, and it's not going to apply to all because right now it's just highlighted, you can just highlight everything on your timeline and go back to animation because it always likes to fucking close. Period. Period. You know, and there, boom. Now you got your animation in. But now what are we going to do for the animation out? And now we're going to go here and we're going to hit out the timeline for all the text is selected, even this guy up here. Um, and we're going to go float in wherever that was or float out would be the opposite. Well, we used float down. And now if we went out, it would just be something like out would be nice pop down no we would kind of still want float out too bad they don't have like a search bar maybe in the future I'll, you'll be able to search there just like pop down good enough right all right so this would be the desired effect we just put animation on all the text in and out now if you wanted to change the text real quick some of this is going to be like basic knowledge for some of you guys but here we go. Just avoid the ones that um, say pro on them if you don't want to pay for it. But whatever. Um, next, if websites affect the text as far as you want to go ahead and you want to put some cool looks to it. So you want to stroke around the letters. Here is the color black and we could turn it up. And that's going to make the stroke a lot darker. And of course, we could do a shadow or a glow. Um, we'd have to select the layer. Come on, come on. There it is. All right, and then we could decide how thick we want it, what's the distance, um, and then just play around with the settings like that. Uh, and I collapsed it. Here we go. What's the distance? And then the angle, the opacity, right? Let's say I want to turn that down a little bit. I want to bring that distance back. I want to change the angle. Um, and then how blurry do we want it? We don't want it really looking so sharp. So we're going to turn up that blur a little bit. All right. Now let's go ahead and watch it. Not the whole video. My God. Start by building a killer portfolio. Of your Sleep while your photos make money for you. <laughs> Tooling what you already know. Host local workshops for beginners. So that's like where you would like put your content. Especially if you market it well. Oh my god, I might <laughs> I might just like like I might just use this exact one that I used for the tutorial <laughs> for the I'm gonna export it. So um right here I think we shot it. 
I, yeah, we shot it. Yeah, we shot it. 30 frames per second, as it says over here. Uh, B-roll, and I'll have the... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I should just put the video where I'm talking in there and then <laughs> I'm probably just going to use this video. Anyways, it's too funny not to. I'll put a picture of myself in there like this. <laughs> During my clips of the B-roll, like I'm... Oh, I need a sombrero too. Okay, 1080p, that's going to be the new standard. Kodak H.264 MP4 and yeah, yeah, oh... <laughs> mp3 you'll get an audio file all right so know the difference and we're going to be 918 to my customer downloads yay export oh and we'll go ahead and export again oh and if you want make sure you edit that cover and that's going to be this little tick over here um because then like when we edit the cover we can just set it to like whatever we want so we're so awesome photo to the next level Oh, we got to hit select from video. If you don't want to add your custom video cover at the beginning, just go ahead and unclick that. But if you do, great. Uh, anyways, then set it to where you want. And go ahead and hit X. And that's how you can script AI. It is Stop wasting time. It's 2024. And if you're a fatal. <laughs> so what a great way to use your script to AI B-roll, and then my idea was to then insert in the blank spaces in there. However, I'm gonna just bring this in Premiere Pro um, just cause there's some stuff I wanna do. And then of course it's gonna generate you TikToks, right? It's gonna generate you short forms for your TikTok shorts and reels. And that's gonna be right here as a pro version. And this has been how you can completely Use script to generate your funky B-roll. Oh, and make sure you go to the Course Income Accelerator and buy it a thousand times so uh, you guys can make me rich overnight. <laughs> Just kidding, but I offer email support for those of you that want to jump in and create courses online um, until it gets to the point where it's grown enough where I can... Uh, just make that in a private group. Then at that point, all my students will be invited to that at a discount. Um, but that program itself at a private group would then be a thousand bucks. Anyways, whatever, later.